over the break. Wait. Play. To the drag now from the base. Play. Strong. And Shaw drives. It's in. It's 1 0 to New Zealand. What a start. Just what they were looking for. Goal number 122 for Hayden Shaw. He gets the Kiwis off to the best start. This is such a crucial match for them. All power as it gets into the back of the net. Stunning start. Perfect position beats the keeper and the postie. And doesn't he love it, the man from Canterbury? And immediately gets the ice vest off. Does his job where it counts. It is the money. One PC, one goal, and here we have Edwards again. A chance for Burroughs. Can he get it? 2-0, you beauty. 2-0, and we have had only seven and a half minutes in this match. The Kiwis have got themselves fired up. Field goal, Phil Burroughs, 251 caps for him. This is a stunning start for the Kiwis. Here it is again. Great delivery of the ball. Perfect control on the receive and smacked it hard to the right of the keeper this time. And Erasi Piedersi had no chance. Hugo Inglis, Stephen Janice, Blair Tarrant, Simon Child when they're on. So that plenty of fast legs out there. And good advantage for the ref as he's short. Really stretching and a shot at goal. That is a great finish, too, from South Africa. Shaw was beaten on a stick side, and South Africa drag one back after that stunning start from the New Zealanders. A reverse stick slap from the top of the D. Look at that powerful finish. And Lloyd Norris Jones pulls one back. And that early work that the New Zealanders did has been reduced by one. The power in which that ball is able to be hit, especially on the reverse stick, because you don't know where it's going to go. And that, that's half the, the issue for any defender when it's executed well as it was by Norris Jones then. Chance again for New Zealand. It's in, it's in. 3-1. This is a goal fest. And all smiles for the Kiwis. Out of nothing, the ball coming through that midfield. There seems to be great gaps. As Janice gets the third goal for New Zealand. There it is there. Nick Wilson providing this ball supply. And a terrific finish. A little glance. I'm not sure that he... I'll give him the benefit of doubt that he intended that to be just touched on. Looked as though he was trying to control it, but he claimed it early. Two saves, Pontifex. And one of the worst goalkeeping nightmares is that one of your defenders can deflect it. Not on purpose, of course, but he had to react to that. So, Blair Hilton with that. Goal number four, New Zealand. From defence, up the other end. It was a power play from Nick Wilson on his reverse. Let's have a look. Taking it up to the circle edge and wham, into the back of the net, just to the near side of the keeper. He won't be happy with that. Ratsy Pietzi, that was his right side. Four goals ahead, four to one they lead. Three goals ahead, New Zealand, but it is such an important match, this preliminary Group B match, New Zealand four, South Africa one. Is six or 12 from South Africa and goalwards it goes it's in what the New Zealanders didn't want conceding that goal it is so powerful it is so hard to stop and it's Justin Reed Ross number six for South Africa and you can just see the power the stick hard on the ground the water sweeps up and the ball goes towards that right side Cousins with the mask just could not pick it up well here that hooter go for the New Zealand men they classed this match as the quarterfinal match as one of the most important games at the Commonwealth Games and they came out firing Nick Wilson another big game up front from him
Well, it's a convincing win for New Zealand, 4-2 over South Africa, and with me is Captain Phil Burrows. And Phil, um, you're the old one in the team, I guess you could say, and that's reflected in the fact you equaled the most test matches for New Zealand. Yep, definitely an uh, old man now, but um, I think I can still run around with the young ones, so I'm uh, pretty happy with how we went today. Yeah, absolutely. You got a goal yourself. Were you happy with that first half performance? Yeah, first half was really uh, really good for us. Um, we needed a good start, and we wanted to put them on the back foot early, and we did that, and I think um, th- that won us the game then, a really good first half, and they had to do a lot of things in the first half to win, and we just you know, defended like crazy in the second half. We had a couple of chances that I'd hope would pull away, but um, we didn't, but we're good to go on one out. Yeah, for large chunks of the game, defensively, you guys are really strong. Is that something you've been working on? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, in, the, in this heat, you know, if you're going to put in bad tackles and get cleaned out, you're going to get punished. And today we really stayed in the challenges a lot, and we, we really um, frustrated them a lot. I thought, I thought they were getting quite frustrated with us, frustrated with the umpires, and uh, we knew that was playing into our hands. I guess South Africa as well, you had a pretty close game with them in the World Cup earlier in the year here. Um, how much did you take away from that game and implement into this game? Yeah, that was huge. Um, it was a lot of the video over the last few days we've looked at was, was all about that. And um, there was one key thing that they were doing in that game that we didn't um, look after well. And we looked after it really well today. So What was that? It was just they have a good, good midfield, midfield rotation. And we were, we were just following in the other game. But this, this time we just stayed in our lanes and, and it worked well. Um, focus on you for a little bit. 251 tests for New Zealand. You equal Ryan Archibald. Yep. Did you realise that coming into the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and how, does it, how do you feel? Yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, it's obviously an honour, but um, you know, I'd rather uh, have less caps and win, win, a lot more, win a lot more medals. Yeah, and I guess uh, the next game, um, all going to plan, you're going you're to break the record. Uh, we want to put that aside. you got England next? Yeah, very, very tough opponent. Uh, we know that. Of late, um, we've struggled a little bit against them. Uh, they've, really, um, they've really had some... Uh, Good build-up and um, good money going to their program with the London Olympics coming up. So um, we know we're going to have a big fight on uh, Thursday. But also, um, you know, it's whoever, whoever plays well on the heat, whoever can handle the heat, the more uh, it gets the better opportunities. And if we can take our opportunities early, we'll, we'll do really well. Can you take anything away from that second half, or was it because you were up 4-1, things sort of tightened up a little bit? They tried, like you said, things a little bit more. They were forcing issues? Yeah, it's always a tough one uh, when you go into the, the halftime 4-1. You want to try and, you know, push for goals, but you know they have to. So we have to take care of the guys they're pushing forward and how many do we commit. And, you know, get, getting to 4-2 early is a really dangerous score because, you know, give away a corner 4-3 and then you're under the pump. So oh, I didn't mind them scoring the 4-2 because it was really late. But if it was earlier, we would have been in a, in a lot more trouble, I thought. Well, good luck for the next game and congratulations on time and then hopefully breaking that record. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate.